The Blood Warlock is the second part of the Aberrant Sorceries series and it focuses on dealing as much damage as possible with the spells. The first part, the Thorny Ninja, focused on applying blood loss as fast as possible with the spells. If you haven't already, go check it out. I could not make this build work at level 100 due to the annoying stat spread, so the damage sucked. But at level 150 it slaps, so let's start with the stats. 45 Vigor will give us a good amount of HP, 24 Mind will allow us to use the spells at least 7 times before we run out of FP, 89 Intel and 53 Fate will allow us to deal big damage with the spells. We don't need to spend any point in the other attributes because the plus 5 in all stats from the Godric's Great Rune will allow us to reach the minimum requirement needed to use the weapons. The staff of the Guilty is here only to boost the Torn Sorcery by 20%. For casting, we will use the Lusat staff. Due to the S scaling in intelligence, when buffed by the flask, we reach the maximum sorcery scaling possible, which is 430. As a backup, we use the magic Uchigatana with either the bloody slash skill or the blood tax skill. I like to use it against fast opponents where I don't have time to cast, or opponents with high resistance to magic damage like Renala and Elden Beast, because the spells deal low damage. As for the skill, Bloody Slash deals good damage, is faster and easier to land, but we lose around 130 HP with each use. Blood Tax needs to land all hits in order to deal more damage than Bloody Slash, but it's harder to do it safely. But we recover some HP if we land them. It's up to you which one you prefer. For the armor, we use the Alberix Pointed Hat Altered, Alberix Robe and Bracers alongside the Knight's Cavalry Graves. The Alberic species boost the Torn Sorceries by 5% each, except the Leggings. That's why I went with a piece with better stats. The whole set takes us to the grand total of 13 points. Graven School and Graven Mass Talismans will raise the power of our spells by a combined total of 12%. Magic Scorpion Charm will raise our magic damage by 12% while receiving 10% more physical damage. This can be countered by the Dragon Crest Grey Shield Talisman, which reduces the physical damage we take by 20%. Alternatively, against bosses who don't deal physical damage, like Renala, Gideon and Elden Beast, you can use the Shard of Alexander, to boost the power of the skill by 15%. Briars of Sin can be chain cast 3 times, each time increasing the casting speed. We even get some poise while casting it, so we can withstand an attack or two. You can even use the environment to your advantage while casting. With each use, we lose 80 HP. Briars of Punishment has amazing range and tracking, and can be chain cast as long as you have mana. The damage is pretty good against most opponents, so as long as you have a Spirit Ash which tanks for you, just stay at range and spam your way to the Elden Throne. Casting it will cost us 50 HP. The Spirit Ash for this build is the Fire Monk. He has a lot of health, which is going to help us greatly because we need him to tank for us, so we can use our spells from a safe distance. In the Flask of Ondra's Physique, we use the Intelligence Knot tier for 10 bonus points into Intel and the Magic tier for 20% bonus magic damage. Both tiers will greatly raise the power of our spells for 3 minutes. Broiled Crab is amazing against most endgame bosses due to their high physical damage. It will reduce the damage we receive by 20% for 1 minute. Against Renala, Gideon and Elden Beast, who do not deal physical damage, I suggest using Exalted Flesh instead if you plan to go into melee combat, because we get 20% bonus physical damage for 30 seconds. Using a Golden Vow will raise our attack and defense, which means more spell damage. We are already at a level that should give us no trouble beating the game, but if you want to get the maximum damage possible out of these spells, going to 99 Fate will do the trick. And if you don't care about any level caps for PvP and want to prove that you're the real Chad, why not go to 99 across the board and beat the crap out of everybody with these amazing spells. This was all friends, don't forget to check the Thorny Ninja and subscribe for more cool builds.